This will be the second of four queues we will create in this tutorial. It will be a line that is beat based, so it will move on the beat and it has some accents in it. So here is how to create it. First we choose an empty spot on our workspace. We click right, we choose create, then new shape and then again we start with a line. So like in the last tutorial you can click the line icon here. We can set the size, we choose 100%. We choose B mode which is this icon here and it will change the line into a set of beams. You will see all dots on the line. We connect those beams with this icon here. So now it's a line which has accents on it. We lower the number of points to 24. The points per beam we will lower to 8. This will be how accented the, the points are on the beam. The higher the number, the sharper the accent. And we can choose a color. For instance, let's say light blue. Then we choose add. We choose an oscillating effect. And we choose geometric and then position Y. So oscillating effect, geometric, position Y. Now the line is moving up and down. As a start, we put it on minus 25. And the finish, we put on plus 25, plus 25. Then we scroll down to the number of beats, and we enter 4. So in 4 beats, which you can select up here, it will move up and down. But we want to do it beat based, so we want to do it not linearly like a ping pong here moving up and down but we want to do it in discrete steps so we choose four discrete steps we press okay or add sorry and we add another oscillating effect this time we choose geometric and then size x so now it's not only moving up and down, but also the sizes, increasing and decreasing. We leave the default values, which are 10 as a starting, 100 as a finish value. We put the beats to 1, so that's also ok. And then, again, 4 discrete steps. So now it's not only moving up and down in discrete steps, but also moving in size. Then again we press add. And for the last time we add an oscillating effect. Choose geometric and then size Y. We put the starting value on 100. Starting value to 100. The finish value on minus 100 and beats to 8 this time 8 and then choose 2 discrete steps so we go to discrete steps and choose 2 discrete steps now we press OK we'll turn on the announced reality preview here to show you what's happening so it's not only moving up and down it's also expanding to the side. I lowered the projector in the reality preview to have a good overhead view. You can also put it up in the middle here. I can show you how to do that. You can do settings, projection zones, choose preview, and then here you can choose the Y of the projection, the Y position of the projector. So if you leave it in the middle. This is just a default, you can see it's moving up and down. Of course you can play with the settings, you can choose different start and end values, you can choose different number of steps, you can change the color, 
and the number of accents in the effect.